Hi honey, how are you? It's Technicolor, and today we're going to be making a home on Dazzle Beach for Stitch and Woody. I'm really excited because these two were recent additions to Disney Dreamlight Valley, and I never really felt happy with their placements, uh, where I had just initially dropped their houses, and today we're spending some time making their homes look really nice on Dazzle Beach. So let's check it out. So something about Disney Dreamlight Valley that not a lot of people realize is that each of the villagers homes, for the most part, not every single one has this, I don't believe, but most of them do have some sort of landscaping or items that are around their house that are linked to specific biomes. So certain villager houses are meant to go in specific biomes. I found this out right after I had moved Merlin from the Peaceful Meadow to the Forest of Valor. And even though I do like having Merlin in the Forest of Valor, and he's probably going to stay there, his house is very clearly meant for the Peaceful Meadow based on the landscaping items that are built into the base of his home. And something that I really wanted to do for making this little area on Dazzle Beach for both Stitch and Woody was that I wanted them to look as if they were meant for this area. And I'm really happy with it because I think that their houses do look like they're meant for this area. Something that I spent a lot of time doing with this build specifically, which originally was just meant for Stitch. I was just making a home for Stitch. And I actually toyed with having Moana to the left area in front of this cave. Um, I toyed with having Moana there. I toyed with having Wally there. And ultimately I landed on having Woody's house there. But when I first started, I just intended to have Stitch here because I love Stitch. Ohana means family and family means nobody gets left behind. And I don't know. I'm a huge fan of Lilo and Stitch. When I was younger, I basically used to force my family into watching this movie every single New Year's Eve. It's not a New Year's Eve movie. Why did I do this? But I basically forced my family into watching <laughs> Lilo and Stitch every single year before New Year's. And then we would switch to cable and watch the ball drop. Um, and that was my New Year's tradition for many years. <laughs> I don't know. I just love Stitch, but I decided Stitch really needed a really nice place. And since his house was kind of themed for Dazzle Beach and because he's Stitch and it takes place in Hawaii and it's just meant to be, Dazzle Beach is the perfect place for Stitch. So what I really wanted to do was incorporate a lot of the landscaping around Dazzle Beach and make it look as if this home was always here instead of me just plopping it in like I have with some of the other villager houses. So I really wanted something that looked as if it was always here. And I don't know, you be the judge, but I think I, think I nailed it. I really am excited because Woody's house is to the left of Stitch's house. It's not there now, but it will be towards the end of this video. But on the left side of my plaza, I don't really have anything there. I used to have my house because when everybody starts Disney Dreamlight Valley, that's where your house just spawns. Um, and I didn't really want my house there. I moved my house to the Peaceful Meadow, which you can see in another video. I'll link down below. But what... <laughs> What I really, really, really liked was because it was a merry-go-round, I was like, this could work. This could work for the plaza. But it's meant for Dazzle Beach. Even in the memory that you receive, it's on Dazzle Beach. I'm like, come on, a merry-go-round on the beach? So I ended up having to really decide last minute where I was going to put him. And because there was kind of an area carved out by the end of this um, this build, it was perfect for, for Woody's house. Another thing that's really bothering me about Woody's house, and this is kind of a spoiler, but um, as part of Woody's quest line, you are 
required to go to different villagers and have them essentially gift you something that will make sense later in um, Woody's quest line. But it's something that is given from the villager and it means something to them. However, it's not displayed. And you don't see it any time, as far as I'm aware, before this moment, and you don't see it any time after this moment. So I'm gonna spoil what one of the items is because I'm a huge Little Mermaid fan. And it's a huge Little Mermaid item. <laughs> and I don't know. I don't know, y'all. Okay, so the item that Ariel gives to us to give to Woody is the music box from her parents. So it's a music box that has like little figurines of Queen Athena and King Triton dancing around to music. And that obviously means a lot to Princess Ariel and for her to just willingly like very easily give it away to us to give to Woody. And then it never is seen again. Y'all, I did not want to give it away. <laughs> I did not want to give it away. But in this game, you have to do certain things in order to... I don't know, progress, but I don't know. I still feel uncomfortable having done that. And I'm I'm just kind of shocked that she would have ever given that away. It's it's honestly like one of the only things that she has from her parents. I don't know. But <laughs> that's that's one thing that I was kind of ticked off about. Another thing that I'm doing in Stitch's home area is I'm adding a lot of items that are music related, because as you know. Stitch loves music. Uh, he has a band, after all. And I I really wanted to find a way to incorporate a lot of the themes from Lilo and Stitch, with Stitch specifically. But also, I wanted to include some of the items that are from other characters, like Maui and Moana, like the bioluminescent items that you can decorate with. It's also really funny to me that I moved many of the villagers that are meant for Dazzle Beach onto this section of Dazzle Beach because as you know Dazzle Beach is kind of split up into two sections because the other section is I'm sorry that's meant for Princess Ariel and Prince Eric <laughs> because if you look at the dream castle there is a straight path down to Dazzle Beach that's where I put Princess Ariel's house because it's it's so perfect it's like castle to castle I don't know I'm just in love with it and then if you're coming out of Ariel's house right to the left is Prince Eric's house because it fits perfectly there but it's such a smaller area of the biome that nothing else really fits there. So everybody else is on this side. You originally start out, I think, with having Ursula on Dazzle Beach. But I didn't really like anywhere that I put her. So I ended up throwing her in the swamp. And I don't know. I think it just... The theming of that, and she's a villain, I think it just works perfectly. We'll have to see how that biome turns out in general. It's kind of really weird because we have Mother Gothel in the tree and then we have Ursula in kind of like the the river or like pond area. Um, and then I also have Wally in the back. <laughs> I love Wally. Wally is really adorable. And I don't know that I was the biggest fan of the Wally movie, but Wally as a character, I love. And especially in this game, he is so stinking cute. However... His house is ugly. <laughs> His house is an old, rusty truck. And I don't know. I just can't have that on my cute little valley. I don't know. It just doesn't fit in. <laughs> I also kind of have a feeling that we're going to be getting uh, Rapunzel soon. Maybe Flynn Rider. Y'all, do you know how amazing it would be to have Rapunzel and Flynn Rider? Oh my gosh. I need the smolder. I need it right now. Rapunzel is probably my second favorite princess after Princess Ariel. And it's strange that we only have Mother Gothel. Like, the Little Mermaid has Princess Ariel, Prince Eric, and Ursula. So you have, like, the main characters, and then you also have the villain. But for some reason, that's all we have. So... I don't know. There have been a lot of theories about who is coming in the next update, which I think might be dropping soon. So you are probably watching this on January 25th. 
And I'm almost positive that by Friday, January 27th, we should have an update, announcement on Disney Dreamlight Valley to let us know what to expect. I'm kind of hoping that it'll include Tangled or more of the Lion King characters. A lot of people are theorizing that we're getting Belle. We will get Belle, but only when the game officially launches. So for those of you who don't know, Disney Dreamlight Valley is currently in early access and you have to pay in order to get access to early access. However, when the game officially launches, it will be free to play. But since Belle is on all of the promotional artwork, I think we'll get Belle, but only when the game officially releases. But who knows? We'll have to see. If you liked what you saw today, I stream every single day over on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv forward slash technicolor. And I hope to see you there soon. Bye-bye.